بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما the next thing let's move on to understand the next phase that is a phase 2 so if we compare this uh, with the iq1 we can call it as a phase 2 and technically we call this as a child mode or child say creating a child say now this is more like iq1 as i said a phase 2 process now now if you remember what we discussed earlier so in the previous we have discussed that the iq2 process like in the phase 1 it is going to exchange the proposals in the first message and the second message and then first message is sent by the initiator and the second message is sent by the responder where they will exchange the security essay essay proposal information like what algorithms will be used and later on it will move on to the next step that is the third message and the fourth message where they will be authenticating the peer based on the information and additionally they will uh, also Uh, carry some other information like what traffic should be secured the traffic selector certificate information and also the configuration information as well as it is going to accept the proposals for ip sec sf so we call it as child sf so the process what we are going to discuss here it is actually combined in this step only but we are going to discuss that separately here so if you try to see this is the first message the second message and the third message in the third message you can find there is a child essay proposals which are being accepted from both the sides even though here you can see i have separated these messages into nine but actually it combines into uh, four messages actually so you can combine this this complete into message 3 and the message 4 actually just for understanding it is being separated here so first let's try to understand uh, this one creating a child essay now this child essay is activated during the ike auth process as i discussed means both the ike auth process as well as the child essay these are actually combined in the message 3 and the message 4 so this all process four messages again so at the end of this messages 3 and 4 you will see the remote peers will be verified and your child essay or the phase 2 is actually established now let's see what are the things happens in the phase 2 here so now the initiator is going to send out the child essay request now this is again uh, the same authentication information is being sent i'm not talking about that that has been discussed earlier it also includes the child essay information so which contains the acceptable proposals in that means what will be the encapsulation protocol will be using esp or authentication header Uh, whether what type of tunnel it is the mode whether it is a transport mode or the tunnel mode and then what is the encryption algorithm will be using for encrypting your traffic and what is the authentication method will be used and what is the defi helming group which is being derived now these all parameters will be uh, will be sent by the initiator so initiator send all, all these things and now the responder is going to respond back Now the responder is going to send back its own proposal information, like what are the algorithms are being used. So if both the sides they agree on the common things, then probably it is going to build the phase two parameters. It's going to uh, accept that proposals for both the sides. So in case if there is any kind of mismatch, then they will try to choose something, some different proposals. Maybe the responder will send out a different proposals. which the initiator has to agree but at then they both has to agree on the common proposals uh, based on that so the that that's how it's going to work so they will exchange that messages and then build or create something called child uh, child essay now once this uh, child essay is being created additionally there will be some add on additional information messages may be exchanged now that again depends upon the status of the connectivity like these messages are used especially for maintaining the tunnel tunnel between the two end points and each informational request which is being sent by the initiator of course it will expect a response from that nothing but they are acknowledged so all these messages will be acknowledged now some of the messages i'm i'm sharing here not all the messages may appear like 
there is something called notify message. Uh, typically, you will see these are M. Uh, this carry information about some kind of error, error information. If there is any error or any status information like connected or not connected, something like that. If there is any error, it is going to send out a report. And also, these messages will be used to check the liveliness. That is, whether the peer is live or not. The liveliness of that particular peer. The state like keep alive messages. So additionally, there will be some other messages like delete. Now this message will be uh, generated, especially this is going to inform the remote peer saying that the sender has deleted one or more of its associations, like one or more it peers. Generally, you will see this message as D here. Apart from that, if there is any kind of configuration messages, it will be sent in the form of configuration payload. Now, this is typically used to negotiate the configuration data. Like I said, you can push the configurations to the remote peers. So basically, the, those messages will be exchanged. And it includes something like request messages and reply messages where uh, this particular configurations will be assigned to a specific uh, remote peer, especially for the remote VPN sites. Uh, when you talk about this phase two, as I said, this phase two messages are not a separate. It actually combined in the message three and the message four. That's something we need to know. So, but I have just separated this as a separate phase, just to understand, uh, so that we are more familiar with the phase, with the version one, like V one. So I just try to explain a similar way. But actually, the the messages are like you know, into the messages are combined into four, which will make the IQ2 much faster than IQ1. Of course, it also has some security enhancements which makes a more better version compared to the previous version. 